Welcome everyone to Lesson 5 of Forte's Academy of Music. I'm Forte Maestro, Dean of the Academy. In this episode, you're going to be learning how to initiate and play solo and group songs while using the Songbook plugin. Now, the first thing you need to do before using the Songbook plugin would be to compile your vast amount of uh, music files so it can be readable in game. And so, to be able to do that, we're going to go into the plugin or to the Lord of the Rings folder in your uh, My Documents, and in there you should have already have installed your uh, Songbook plugins. If you have not done so and you don't know how to, go ahead and uh, watch uh, uh, watch lessons four in which we uh, basically instructed everyone on how to do the plugins. Now your plugins, which are going to be in the plugins folder, should be uh, in there. I'm opening up the folder here. Now inside the folder, you're going to find the Songbook BB, and as previously instructed, Songbook BB is a updated version of the original Chiron. Uh, Chiron uh, songbook that was originally created uh, a few years ago and there's a few updates to it and those updates we'll go into once I load up once we pull it into the game now in there you can have Chiron BB open it up here you're going to double click on it go ahead and open up the songbook uh, folder and in there you're going to find two necessary files and you can decide whichever one you want to use you're going to see what's called the songbook filler Songbook Filler is a little application here which you would double click on it. You would select, let me do it now, depending on how, how much my lag is, but you would open it up, you would select what your current username is. Now if you have multiple accounts, you're going to have to select each of those, you know, you're going to have to select one username at a time and start the filler so it can so we can populate the songbook for each individual account each time. Now there's also here which is called the songbook. It's not the one with the icon because the icon it, because the icon literally is the icon image, but the one over here that says HTML application. It's a it's a smaller stripped down version of songbook filler and generally it takes a little bit longer or actually it takes less time but in my experience it's less accurate so it, 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 it's always something you want to play with you know find out which of these two you like the best now there is also another one now what, what's pulling up here is actually this uh, songbook right here so you can see right here what the username is you go and when you're ready to do it you uh, click build uh, song library. Now we're going to close right here. Like I was trying to say, there is another one which a lot of people are using, uh, and it's something I had touched on when we were talking about on, on lesson four about installing plugins. It's actually called Song Booker, and I don't presently have it installed because I have to reinstall it, but basically it's another version of a song filler in which it actually shows you as it goes through filling the song and generally it seems to be the most accurate and seems to fill everything faster so you have compiled your your songs that means now you have a file readable by the end game you're going to need to now game now you, you cannot you have to be out of game. Well, you have to. If you were to add a plugin in, into your plugin folder, you have to relaunch your client for it to read that plugin. So if you're doing it while you're in game, you have to close it out. Uh, now, since we've actually previously added the uh, the plugin, you're not going to have to worry about that right now. Now, when it comes to the songbook filler. If you have compiled music while you're in game, all you're going to have to do is reload, unload music or the the um, the plugin to be able to get those most recent uh, songs. So you can actually compile songs while in game, and all you have to do is reload songbook. Now I want to show you now. The next step is to go ahead and load songbook in game. Now generally, when you actually Log in and you get to the character select screen. 
you will have the option on the right side to click on where it says plugin management. You can open it up there and you'll be able to see all the different plugins that you have. And you can manage it from there. You can also access it from in game. On the bottom left of your full, all your of your tool table here on the far left, that little up arrow, it takes you to the more advanced um, uh, section here where it shows all your trades, Hobbit presence, crafting, and all that. Up at the top where it says system. Now normally if you hit escape, it brings up your system window, but it doesn't have everything that's here. It's only when you use this, um, this icon over here and bring up this extended system page that you can actually see the plugin manager. Now I'm going to click on here and you're going to see the plugins that I currently have installed. Now you're going to see where it says Songbook BB. Now generally, none of these are going to be loaded if, you, if you're loading them for the first time. So it's actually going to look, uh, let me pull this up, it's actually going to look blank uh, down here. And so what you need to do, you would click that plugin, come down here, and either select all characters for if you want to be able to have all characters automatically load songbook, or you click that one character that you're going to want to have automatically done for. So I would be clicking uh, Fortissimo. And then, if this is grayed out, then you have to you have to load this from um, actually in game. But if if it's not loaded, it will show blue like how it says unload all. You would click this, and it'll automatically load it in game. Now, generally, what would happen is automatically when you come in game, it should automatically be open. It would be open like that. Now, if it's not open, you actually will notice. So you're gonna and you're gonna have to hunt around for it. It's usually over here on the right side. It's actually a little transparent note button that automatically comes in when your songbook actually has successfully loaded. And it's basically the open and close for the songbook. So let's go ahead and open the songbook so you can have an idea of what's on the inside. Now you might be wondering what all this is. Well, let me show you here. Um, first of all, you remember back when you're normally doing manual songs, you have to type slash uh, music to go into music mode. You now have a button here that does it automatically. So if you have a instrument in, uh, e equipped it and you click this, you automatically go into music mode, which is awesome. You also have your play button automatically here. You have a ready test, which if you're in a group, you could ask if you're and teammates are ready. You also have a button specifically uh, to sync. So when you have a song selected and you're ready to sync, you got the button there. And you also have the button here to start the song playing when you, uh, after everyone synced. And then you also have an S, which is based, uh, this little S here, which will post in chat as an emote what the song that you're currently playing. So that's always a choice to use. Now, before we, I show you do, do anything about songs, I want to show you what else we have here. This section right here, uh, just below where it says, because you, know, you can't see my cursor, but just below the search and clear buttons, this section right here is showing the different subfolders that are in your music folder. And so, uh, and then just below there, you'll see all of the files, the individual files that are in the main directory. You will have a scroll bar here. You can slide down, um, be able to go down and be able to see all your songs that you have available in your main directory. Now, you can always double click on any of these directories up here. If you double click the directory, it's going to open up this folder and show any subfolders in that folder in that same section here. And then it will then show any of the other songs that are in that particular folder. Now, if you want to be able to get back at get back to the main directory, you hit these two dots over here, just above those other subdirectories. It'll take you back to the main uh, the main directory where your primary songs are. It's going to wait for a moment to do that. And while it's doing that, there's a couple of these pieces of the sections here in which you have to toggle to turn on. If you come down here at the bottom where it says settings. You click settings, here are the different options in which you can actually enable in-game. 
the section up here that's checked it says song part list visible and that is actually making this bottom part where it shows here visible so if you click on uh, unclick it it disappears it from the bottom if you click it again it shows it at the bottom well there we go now that that that's important when you're doing multiplayer parts. So I'm going to click this nine part Hunger Games. You click it. Now it shows every every part listing that you would normally see inside the actual folder that you actually saw and got familiar with in lesson two. These are all the parts here. And so it says party 11, loot one, part 12, loot 2. So you notice all the 11, 12, 13s are all loots. 31 and 32 are your Therabos. 51 is your flute. 71, 72, and 73 are all your clarinet parts. Now, all you actually literally have to do, like say for instance, you are actually, say, loot 3. You can click over here to loot 3. Come up here at the top to where it says play uh, with sync you click it and because I'm not in the actual or have to be in a you have to be in a fellowship to sync which I currently am not but you would want to be in you would want to be in music mode which I was and then you would click sync and it actually will sync your part and everyone else will also sync their parts now you know the section here where it says players let me scroll this down here a little bit this will list all of the individuals who are in your group and what's going to happen is with when any of these parts down in the part section whenever they become synced they will gray out so will a person so it actually gives you a verification that okay that part has already been synced now this and this player has also synced in now what's important is this system does not keep track of whether or not someone is still synced if for whatever reason they they turn music mode off or if they move. So you actually will need to keep you know keep track of if someone moved, your status here in the parts section won't ungrace saying that okay this part needs to be resynced. So that's the only that's the only downfall there. Uh, there's also a couple other sections here. See where it says up here, over here in the settings page, where it says search enabled. That is giving this section up here at the top, where it allows you to be able to search a song. Now, that also has added in here, this section over here, where it says the different ways you can search. Like you got part numbers, artist, uh, genre, mood, author. These are... Let me get this unchecked. These are actually determined by, first of all, the part number. If you want to search for, say, three-parter, you would click here, type in three, hit search. Now, these other parts here, artist, genre, mood, and author, are is information that you actually add about a song by using another application that's called, I believe it's called Song Browser. And it's actually a, a application that comes with uh, the uh, song Booker. Two of them come, come together. And you actually, like I told you before, if you go to my links page on my website, it will take you to the links. It is available under the section where you'd actually originally download uh, Songbook. So let me get this loaded up here. And what it will do is it allows you to add different songs. You can set up actually um, song sets or uh, instrument sets. You can add, say, you know, this particular song is part of a Western uh, genre. Or it, you know, there's, there are little different aspects in which you can add to it. Let me, let me get to that page. Scroll up. We're going over to, it's actually up at the top where it's programs. Songbook BB, you click there. It's going to take you to Alina's website where it's actually hosted. Let's wait a minute for it to load up here. 
Sounds like my uh, my in-game uh, sound is wanting to play on me. And if you scroll down, once this fully loads up, you'll see towards the bottom, which we get to here at the bottom here, It's made for it to finish loading up at the bottom. Give it a moment here. All right, well, it's, give, it's giving me issues from uh, scrolling down. But if you go to that page, scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see the link to Songbooker. Um, which is going to have the combination of Songbooker and the Song Browser. Like I said, which is going to allow you to add traits to particular songs, which in-game it will be making them searchable under those particular traits. Now, in this section you also have a, uh, places where you can say show description in the song uh, list. You can click to show description first window visible on load so you can automatically have it uh, your uh, songbook automatically load up when you came in come in game up oh, you get back in there you also have section where okay this the filters which is on the left side and usually I don't like using those so I'm gonna uncheck those since I don't have any of those traits added to any of my songs so I'm gonna unclick those you also have show timer and you, you actually this is one of the new features that, that comes along with uh, with the the Badger's chapter of Songbook, it actually allows you to be able to keep track of how much time is left. And I'll show you that when I, when I start playing a song. And these other options here, and then you would want to have Show Timer, and you also, um, if you want to, select Countdown, so it actually shows how much is remaining versus starting from the bottom and working its way up. I mean, you don't necessarily know how much is left. I always like to know how much time is left versus how much time has passed. Um, also down here at the bottom uh, under songbook button settings it also adds the row at the bottom of your songbook that allows you to show your um, song or your um, songbook button which is this little guy right here the little music note that you have on your screen and I always like to have that visible. Now the other part you can always change the um, um, uh, the transparency of your actual um, songbook. You also have un under instrument slot settings, you can actually toggle. If you look here, toggle so your song, uh, your song, your instruments list uh, list at the bottom. And what happens is these originally become, or this is originally blank. And there's actually usually half of these number of squares available uh, when you first install the plugin. This allows you to open up your inventory, drag and drop them into any of these slots down here, and be able to make it so you can easily click on the instrument. Actually, I'm still in music mode. I'm going to get out of music mode. Automatically allows you to click any of these instruments to equip it. And so then at that point, once you, once you equipped it, you just have to go into music mode, and there's your instrument. Now... Like I told you, there is not going to have, you know, you're not going to see as many of these squares here available. That's why you have this button over here where it says add. You can add an additional uh, instrument slots here. And which I had just added one, it looks like. Or you can remove one. Or you can clear it back to the original so there's no instruments in there. And you also notice you can actually uh, modify and change the window here. So this is pretty much how I like it to look up here. You have the the directories, which I usually pull it all the way up here. I have to I'm gonna clear the search so it shows my main directory. Which I don't know why. Where's the rest of my songs? Where's the rest of my songs aren't showing. I may be in a subdirectory. Maybe it's a uh seems usual. Let me fix this here. right now my, my actual songs here are not showing. Let me see if I can get those songs to that song list to show. Oh, 
open it up again. My last isn't showing, which is unusual. Now, what I'm going to do to try to help clear this up is actually it might be this. Oh, it's not it. Okay, I'm actually going to unload this plugin and load it back in. This will also be another way to be able to show you. If you're having any issues, I'm going to hit save here. If you're having any issues here, it's always good every so often to unload it. So you want to go down to this um, the section here to show you the, the extended uh, menu here. Go up to settings or uh, system plugin manager. You you can't unload one only one plugin. You have to unload them all at a time. So I'm going to unload them, and that means Songbook itself, when it unloads, is going to disappear. Now I'm going to load it again. You just click up here at the top for my character, and wait here for it to load. Now it's grayed out here, so it's loaded in. And we just have to toggle it open. And there's my there's my music uh, list back again. Now, like all this time, we've been talking about all the details of what options are there. Now the nitty gritty of actually playing. Like I told you, say for instance, we're going to play this my one of my new pieces, my six loop pieces. I want to equip, go down here, I'm going to equip my Loot of Ages. I'm going to click that button. Hit the M to go into music mode. I'm going to close my plugin screen. And then literally all I have to do is hit the play button. And it's going to start the music. Although it looks like I have an error. So, well, that's one of the ones I haven't tested yet. So let's do one more. Let's go ahead and do uh, Highway to Hell. And literally you just have to click that song, hit play. And then to stop, you just have to hit music mode again. Now, like I told you, uh, while I don't have a group here to be able to show you the full scale of starting a group song synced, basically um, the, the, the quick part of it is, which is pretty simple, you go down and you look for your song, or you can search it up in the search menu. You click the song. Down at the bottom, I'm going to close this, uh, make this smaller so you don't see the directories. Down here at the bottom, you see all the loots. You basically select what you are, all the instruments. You find what your instrument is. Like, say, for instance, I am loot 12. I have my loot of ages equipped. I hit music mode. And I come over here on the far right side to play with sync. And I would click it to go into sync mode. The other individuals in the, in the group would click theirs, go into sync mode. And you will see it uh, updated in the chat here. So you can see who's in, uh, see that they have synced in the sync mode. And then over here on the far right, you'll see start sync play. This was normally that, that slash play start, which you can see they're highlighted. And once you do, once you start that, you're going to have your song going. So that's pretty much it, everyone. That's the, the nitty gritty of being able to play a song as an individual solo player or even as a band. In this next episode, which is going to be lesson six, you're going to be learning how to use the lyrical plugin to be able to use it for uh, to do poems, to be able to create stories, to be able to set up your library of text, to be able to basically execute this text in chat while you're in game. Thank you guys very much, and I will see you next time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at Forte underscore Maestro. Thank you very much and have an excellent day.